One of the things you don't see in the images of Friday's volcano is something that happened underwater. The communications cable that connected Tonga to the rest of the world was severed. These are the first images of the aftermath, taken by a military aircraft out of New Zealand that had to make a round trip of more than 4,000 kilometers. They show shorelines battered by tsunami waves and just about everything covered in volcanic ash. The Australian Air Force had to make an even longer flight. It's releasing images that show damage to the port and the capital, damage to buildings, and the reason aircraft can't land. The runway at the main airport is covered in ash. The ash is proving quite problematic. The Speaker of the Tongan Parliament is in New Zealand. He says getting that airport reopened for aid is a priority. Our latest information I have is that 60% of the runway has been cleared, um, and this is done manually. Um, I hear up to 200 volunteers are sweeping the runway. The Tongan government was able to issue a first update Tuesday on the situation. It does not appear to have been as devastating as was first feared. These are before and after satellite images. About 50 homes in the capital were destroyed, but some islands haven't been heard from. The government says communications were cut with the rest of the world, but also in Tonga itself, phones haven't been working. While ships in Australia are preparing aid, there are others preparing to make repairs to that underwater cable. It's not in deep water, but it's far, and it's in the volcanic area. The cable company says the safety of the repair vessel and the crew are a concern. Mike Armstrong, Global News.